you grease it. If it don't move, you scrub it. And that's it, but that's the life of a rust about. You got that? You have a grease gun or a bucket of diesel dangling from your wrist at all times. And you gotta be going somewhere at all times. The best place is that comfy spot over there behind the mud tank. Oh, yes, boy. I warm as toast when it's cold and shady when it's warm. I thought it lots of stuff curled up behind that mud tank. You get like your mother been, I said, running on like a brook. You bought it. A sunfish, a dead shark, a pretty bottle cast ashore during the night. Oh man, wouldn't Dad love them birds, hey sis? Yeah, sure, I said. Pot of rain is what Dad would see. And then one up there, they'd make fine quarter wood. <laughs> yep, so Dad said Christmas, so he would. But tell me again, man, tell me. Listen, man, what's my job? What do I gotta do when I get there? Hmm. The first thing you learn, slugger, said Ben, is oo zoo. Well, you don't tell the wrong man to bugger off. You got that? <clears throat> yep, I got that. So what are they like, all them roughnecks? I mean, what are they like? Babies, said Ben. They're all pretty as babies, my son. Babies, said Chris. And push is the prettiest, said Ben. Push is the box. You got that? The tool push. The biggest job on the rig. He's a lovely man, push. You got him rides hanging down to his knees. <laughs> It's a bit mean sometimes when you have him rise hang like five berries down to me. But that's how the whiskey can't handle now. <clears throat> you call them push because he's pushed over. Is that right, Chris? Ben Brown, tool push. And everything looks really flat. And then other times I'll pick up something really beautiful and it'll make me want to do better than I'm doing. So I go through spurts. I really do go through spurts. And I do a lot of email reading when I'm stuck. You know, kind of the escape route, like I can't, I don't know what to do next, and so read email. But I, I, I get inspiration from other writers, I really do. And, um, but I think for me, finally deciding to do an adult book was like, I know I can't be Alex Monroe or Margaret Lawrence or Margaret Atwood. Like, I, maybe I could just try to be the writer I am and write what I have and try to do what I have to say. And that was like, it was, that was like stepping into your own voice after a long time. Thank you, Literary Festival, Donna Morrissey and Sherry Fitch. <laughs>